Hey, here I am. Last time for today, I promise. All right, we did F12 in the 8th grade IXL skills. We did F13 in the 8th grade IXL skills. And now we are going to look at checkpoint integer exponents, the very bottom of skill F. All right, I love these new IXL checkpoints where they combine different things. Um, anyways, here we go. So, tell whether each expression in the table is equal to 10 to the 7th, so that would be this column, 10 to the negative 7th, that would be this column, or neither, that would be this column. Okay, and then they've got a division problem, they've got a raising to a power problem, and then they've got two multiplication problems. So let's just go through and work out each of these four problems, okay? And then we'll figure out what we're going to do here. So 10 to the 14th over 10 to the 2nd. Now some might be uh, tempted to divide and say this is 10 to the 7th, but we know better, don't we? We know that the rule is to subtract and we get 10 to the negative 2 power. All right, right here when you're raising to a power from a fraction, remember you distribute that to both. So this becomes 1 to the negative 7 over 10 to the negative 7. 1 to the negative 7 over 10 to the negative 7. And remember, a negative exponent on the top becomes a positive exponent on the bottom. And a negative exponent on the bottom becomes a positive exponent on the top. So that one becomes 10 to the 7th over 1 to the 7th. Or we could just write that as 10 to the 7th if we simplify that, okay? All right, this one right here, negative 3 plus negative 4, that's going to become 10 to the negative 7 power, right? And this one right here, 3 plus negative 10, that's going to become 10 to the negative 7 power as well, right? Okay, so now we know what the answers are. Is 10 to the negative 2 equivalent to 10 to the 7th? No, no. So the first one's equivalent to neither, all right? The second one is 10 to the 7th, and it looks like the last two are 10 to the negative 7. All right, so let's see if I can remember these. I'm pretty sure it was that, that, and that, like that. Did I get it right? Woohoo! Good job, Mr. Reeves. Okay, here we go. Next one. From least to greatest. From least to greatest. Okay. So again, let's take a look at these, and we want to write them in a way that we can compare them. All right, so it looks like maybe we can just get them all as powers of 8, right? So the first one is 8 to the negative 2. The second one, 8 to the 10th over 8 to the 8th is going to become 8 to the, sorry, that's an 8. 8 to the positive 2, and this next one's going to become 8 to the negative, what, negative 8, and this last one is also going to be, oh, wait, 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 a negative times a negative is a positive, Mr. Reeves. All right, and an 8 to the negative 2 to the 4th power is going to become 8 to the negative 8. I knew there was going to be 8 to the negative 8. I did. All right, and remember, as we go across the number line, numbers go from smallest to biggest. So over here would be our smallest, and over here would be our largest, right? Okay, so if I'm writing these, 8 to the negative 8 would be my smallest, right? Why? This thing is really struggling right now, and I'm not quite sure why. 8 to the negative 8, then I'm going to have 8 to the negative 2, all right? Then I'm going to have 8 to the positive 2, and then I'm going to have 8 to the positive 8, okay? That's the order that we are looking for. All right, so if I can remember which is which here, so our 8 to the negative 8, that was this one, it is the smallest. 
There's our 8 to the negative 2. All right, this one was our 8 to the positive 2, and that's our 8 to the positive 8. How did I do? Once again, victorious. All right, which two expressions are equivalent to each other? All right, so let's again, whoa, what just happened? Let's just find out what these are equal to, right? This one's going to be 8 to, remember, what do we do with those? We multiply, we get 8 to the ninth power, right? This one's going to be 8 to the, what do we do with those? We subtract 8 to the 6th power. This one's going to be 8 to the negative 6th power, right? And this one right here is going to be 8 to the, what do we do with those? We add, we get 8 to the 6th power. All righty. So we're looking for two that are equivalent to each other. Well, I'm no expert on equivalency, but I'm pretty sure that 8 to the 6 is equivalent to 8 to the 6. Are you with me on that one? All right. Look at that. We're all the way up to 64, and we've only done three problems. Oh, wow. Here. Okay. What are we going to do right here? 8 to the negative third times 8 to the seventh. What do we do with those? I think I'm going to let you do this one on your own. I think you can do that. Oh, you know what? There's no more levels to jump to. Well, that's no fun. All right. So negative 3, we're going to add, right? Negative 3 plus 7 is what? Is 4. So we get n is 4. All right. So I want to jump to more difficult problems. It won't let me. How about this one? m to the third times, sorry, 4 to the m times 4 to the third is 4 to the sixth. Now remember, what do we do with these? We what? We add them. What plus 3 is 6, boys and girls? What plus 3 is 6? It's 3. All righty. Okay, we're going to do one more of these. We're up to 84. We're as far as we need to be. And if you want to go past that, I'm going to let you do that, all right? Okay, so we want them from least to greatest. Here we go. We have 7 to the negative fifth right here, okay? Right here, we have 7 to the what? 2 plus 3 is 5, 7 to the fifth. 1 over 7 to the sixth is 7 to the negative 6, right? Because if it's positive on the bottom, it's negative on the top. If it's negative on the top, it's positive on the bottom when it comes to exponents. And this one right here is going to be 7 to, remember what we do with those? We multiply them. All right? So the smallest is going to be negative 6, right? So this one is going to go 1, and then this one's going to go 2, and this one's going to go 3, and this one's going to go Four. All right, let's see if I can remember that. Actually, I think I just have to shift this one over, right? Just shift that one over, and then they're all in the correct order. All righty. Okay, and now we're in the challenge zone, which is no more difficult, right? We can do this. This one right here, I told you that was the last one. I just love math so much. I have to keep going. This will be the last one. 7 to the what power? Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6th power. So we're looking for the ones that are equal to 7 to the 6th power. Well, this is practically the same problem, isn't it? All right, multiplication is commutative. So we get the same answer. 1 over 7 to the negative 5th is going to be 7 to what? The positive 5 over 1 if you wanted. 1 over 7 to the 6th is going to be 7 to the negative 6 power. And this one right here, if this is a 1, right? This one's going to be 1 plus negative 5 is going to give me negative 4. So the expressions that are equivalent, it's just this one. Just this first one that is equivalent. That's the only one that's equivalent. And I really, really, really am going to stop here. Okay? I'm going to let you pursue excellence on your own. As always, I hope this was helpful to you. But if you need more help, do not ever, ever, ever hesitate to ask because I am here for you. Have a great day, everybody. See you next time.